Hello guys, welcome back. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Now in this video, I'm gonna be whispering a creepy pasta called I Met Someone Who Makes Me Feel Seasick. Let's go. Okay. I met someone who makes me feel seasick. Make any sense. 
friends. Nothing she said was making sense anymore. I was just an innocent 17 year old kid. I went to school with the hottest girl in school. Wow. I wanted to touch it. The light. Grandpa said he was swimming to the bottom to get it for me. He held his breath real big and went to look like this. Shannon disappeared. Motherfucker, this is not funny. I screamed to the empty night. I looked around and no one was nearby. I reached underwater and caught a flailing foot. She surfaced with entangled limbs and hopeful screams. Can you see it? He slapped me in the face as I tried to pull her away from the waves. Look. I did. A bright luminescence lit up underneath the surface. It was absurd. And exactly as she described. The light encompassed every inch of the bottom of the storm fused lake. I leaped onto the deck and grabbed Shannon by the arm. As I started to pull her towards me, she pulled back with surprising force. I landed back in the water with a belly flop. She wrapped her thin arms around my shoulders. Grandpa never came back. I hope you do. Shannon kissed me. The same as she had done a thousand times, but something was different. Her lips were dry and crackled. A warm and sticky liquid flooded over her teeth and into my mouth. I opened my eyes and spit out the liquid. It was blood, red in her underwear. Then she drunk took my head without any explanation. The light was pulsating at that point. I could see even though even through closed eyes. I screamed but water filled my lungs. After it felt like there was no fight in the lung and me left, something relented as I broke the surface. face in front of mine was not the one I recognized. She still wore the same bikini top. It was crimson red with tiny little hearts rounding the corners, but the skin behind it was old and gray. Layers of it raised up to form complicated wrinkles on her chest and arms. Her teeth were decaying and her illustrious black hair was falling out by the rope. Oh my goodness. What happened to Shannon? As I looked into her eyes, they were still the same green, the same color green. I need the light, Mike. Go get me that fucking light. Even her voice was different. It was tired, old, and angry. Ooh, ding, Shannon. And every must have heard the commotion. He opened his door from a few hundred feet away and called out into the dark. Are you kids all right? It's too late for swimming. No, I shouted back. Please help me. When I turned to face Shannon, she was gone. The lake was dark again, and time cruisers, diamond, diamond grounds for hours. They never found my girlfriend or anything that suggested an electrical source. The body of a deceased senior citizen washed up on shore the next morning. I kept my mouth shut, even though the reveal answered my own haunting question for sure. Really, she did need the light. Shannon really did need the light that night. Shannon was gone and the, the grandpa was drowned. Did Shannon do it? God. Okay, guys, that was a creepy, creepy, creepy house about the story. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you got scared. I'm shaking right now. Just kidding, I'm not shaking. Okay, it's gonna be evident.